Face covers and masks are part of the new normal for your own protection and for the safety of those that you care about. So let's talk about them and having the right protection and what it's all about. Joining me today is Dr. Mary Clifton, an internal medicine doctor from New York City and a member of the advisory board for our sponsor, Boomer Naturals. Thank you for being with us this morning. Oh, thank you for inviting me. It's it, great to talk about face uh, coverings and learn more about how to wear them and how to properly take care of them. Absolutely. And since the majority of the public is either having to purchase non-M95 masks or make our own at home, can you help explain what does a good and effective mask have? Well, I think it's important for a mask to provide an adequate amount of filtration so that uh, the air that you breathe has some of the particulates removed from it. And the mask also has to be breathable and something that you're able to talk through. So if it's comfortable and breathable and it does its job as a filter, then that I think is the ideal mask. Okay, so what should people be careful about when thinking about purchasing or making their own face mask? Well, I think the best research is coming from the American Chemical Society. Uh, they've published their most recent data on filtration and masks in their journal Nano just a few months ago. And they compared all kinds of different masks, both on the person who uh, they did it in sort of a hospital setting. And that's how they came up, uh, or, or at least supported the uh, social distancing six feet concept, but also the uh, effectiveness of various masks and various materials uh, based on how much particulates were actually in the air. And so different masks have different levels of, uh, of functioning. I mean, an N95 mask is the gold standard. It's the very best if it's properly fitted. But if there's any gaps in the N95, it's so difficult to breathe through that filter, that if there's any gaps, the air will sort of whoosh around through that gap and the efficacy goes from 95% filtration all the way down to 12% filtration. So having a mask that fits well and that's easy to use is just as important as the quality of the filtration. Mm -hmm. The research also shows that if the fabric is a, is a tightly woven fabric and if there's more than one layer, two or even three layers is always superior to one layer. So it's reasonable okay, so to start with a scarf or a bandana, but then it's good to get up from there quickly to something a little bit more, uh, more uh, effective at filtrating. Absolutely. Now, here's another question um, that, that I have. Do you have any suggestions for how to wear the mask the right way and then how to take them off properly as well? Absolutely. I have... Um a batch of masks here that, you know, I like all of, I just wanted to show you some of the options. I like these little kiddo masks that I sent to my grandkids, but these masks are really easy to take on and off. And uh, I would start by just looping over one ear, over one ear with the ear loop, whoops. And then, uh, and then putting it over your nose and mouth and then putting it over the other ear and then just adjust the mask so that it so that these gaps on the sides are limited as much as possible so that gaps on the top and bottom are limited as much as possible so the air filtrates right through the covering and you can actually see if i come in how the mask is in fact pulling the air mm. through the mask and not through the gaps i like that because this uh, because this particular covering is big enough that it, it does a good job of uh, not gapping and then similarly it's easy to remove just take off of one ear and then off the other. The mask is not only filtering the air, but it's also preventing you from touching your face holes with potential uh, you know, particles on your hands, which is also important to do when you're out and about. It's, that's an important thing to avoid. All right, so how do we know we're getting the right size mask? Well, there's a few different sizes for grown-ups, so I suppose there's, you know, you could order uh, one if, if you feel like you have a larger jaw or a larger lower face. But in most cases, you know, if you have some covering over the mouth and nose and then covering that extends around and back a little bit, you're going to have a little better job at preventing that gapping that reduces the uh, benefit of the mask. Wonderful. Dr. Clifton, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you.
you. All right. And right now you can get 20% off Boomer Naturals face coverings and masks. To see their wide selection and place your order, visit their website, boomernaturals.com and use the discount code WDIV20 to receive 20% off of your order. Again, that discount code is WDIV20 at boomernaturals.com.